Hey, welcome, Chris here. So following up on the, the couple of uh, uh, prepper challenge uh, challenges that we've done over the last few weeks where we, uh, we tested uh, all of this was canned goods that had expired or was, was well past their best use by date. So we've tested any more beef stew so far, uh, some, some small oranges, mandarin oranges, and some canned mangoes. So this week we're going to look at uh, <coughs> canned peaches. So I have some canned peaches that are pretty well past their best use by date. So we'll look at what that date is. We'll run it through the, the standard uh, smell, sight, taste test, uh, see what it looks like. So uh, let's check that out. Well, here are the sliced peaches. You can see they're Kirkland Signature Sliced Peaches. These will be the, the canned food that we test today. So if we check it for any bulging, uh, I don't see any. Like all the other canned goods that I test, this stuff's just been sitting, sitting in a, a dry, dark place with a pretty low, even temperature. Let's see if we can check out what the best used by date is. So it's on the left-hand side there, and so hopefully you can make it out, but it looks like it's 5-3 of 13. You can see the last date is the, the year that it's best used by, so... This stuff's coming up on seven years old for its best use by date, uh, which means I probably bought it a couple years in advance of that. <clears throat> but uh, we're going to run it through the standard test. We'll open it up, uh, see what it looks like. So let's uh, check that out. Okay, we're going to do the, the one-handed can open. Let's see if we get any sound or... Nope, nothing unusual. Pretty much the standard sound of a can opening. Okay, let's see what that looks like. Well, looks like peaches. All right, we're going to open this up, pour it into a bowl, and uh, check for consistency. I'm not picking up any smells, but uh, yeah, let's see how this stuff smells and tastes. Here we have it in a bowl, and I've got uh, a fork to test out the consistency of the, the, the flesh of the fruit, and then the spoon is what I'm going to use to to taste the syrup. So let's see. Looks like this uh, the peaches are holding up a little bit better than the mangoes did, as far as the consistency. The mangoes dissolve pretty pretty easily under pressure. Certainly, a fork would. These are still soft, but they are peaches in a can. Okay, pick that up. Broke apart. I can pick it up. Holds together. Okay, let's try a different piece. Well, that came apart pretty easily. Okay. Well, holds up all right. Yep. All right. Let's see what this. Uh, Let's see what this smells and tastes like. I think it's I think it's gonna be fine. Okay, here we are. Gonna give it the smell. Mm, doesn't smell bad. I'm not, I've never been a huge fan of peaches out of the can. Um, smells like peaches. Tastes like cans pe canned peaches. Mm -hmm. Let's give it a little taste of the syrup. Yeah, tastes like what you'd expect, canned peaches. All right, well, these pass. And it also reinforces that I've never been a huge fan of canned peaches to begin with. But, you know, the point of uh, preparing isn't necessarily to to have every, everything that your heart desires, but to have calories and nutrients uh, to, to, to last you through times of s severe need, right? That's what this is for. And uh, yeah, this is, uh, had an expire date of uh, 2013, uh, and uh, here it is 2020. So these are seven years past their, their uh, best used by date, and they seem to hold, hold up just fine. 
I would definitely wouldn't have a problem eating these in a pinch. And uh, yeah, I'll test them in a couple of years, I suppose. Hey, thanks for watching. Uh, take care. We'll see you next time.